What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be going over a new gold method explain video because I feel like that's your guys' favorite uh, thing to learn about on YouTube is how you can make gold on ESO doing different types of things and th today is an interesting one because it requires no DLC and just requires a little bit of alchemy and so we are going to be talking about what exactly and where to farm these alchemy ingredients and then specifically what potions you should be making with those ingredients. Before we jump into the video, uh, based on the feedback on the last video, I'm going to be adding chapters so that if you want to skip through the intro, you can, uh, because this is now my generic intro, where I say, hey guys, thanks for coming, I love you, remember to comment on the video, we're doing a giveaway on the 1st of May, we will be doing a drawing to pick a winner, all you have to do to enter is comment on any video, anytime, ask a question, leave feedback, tell me my feet are smelly, comment that my kitten is cute uh, because that will also be going in this video too is there will be a picture of Evie because one of you guys asked for a picture and right now she is currently sitting on my leg because I just got home after working 12 hours and she is happy to see me so uh, she may try to jump in the video you may hear her a little bit but let's jump into the video so before we talk about what exactly you should be making let's talk about where I am I am in the hollow city in Cold Harbor and I'm going to be passively running around while I talk to you guys because we are going to be picking up alchemy ingredients. As you can see, based on my perk here, I have the ability to highlight alchemy ingredients in the overworld, which is going to be very helpful for us who are normally blind and sometimes struggle to see. I think that person over there is actually doing the same thing that I am because they have a movement, spin, uh, movement speed ring on and we're just going to be picking up things and that's going to be the main uh, point of this video uh, for the first half. Pretty much inside the entirety of the Hollow City uh, and the kind of outside of it as well, you'll be finding tons of alchemy ingredients. Why this is helpful is, is the alchemy ingredients you find here can sell for quite a pretty penny. Uh, and we'll talk about that in just one second. You see people here are just booking it around and that's... You might have to activate maximum overdrive here, but... We'll just do this briefly because it's not a huge, you know, it's not I'm doing anything groundbreaking. You're just watching me go around and pick up things off the ground. So we will actually take a break here and we'll let those other people do it and say, basically running around the inside of the hollow city, going down and near the water areas, going out just outside the gates here, especially this area over here can have lots of columbine. And, you know, we don't need to pad the runtime here by you watching me run around in a circle and pick up stuff. So let's talk about the three types of potions that you can make with these ingredients. So there will be a specific video on what potions to make for gold. Generally, those those will be more of the unique potion. These are your bare bones basic potions. What that means is we're going to be talking about number one, Tristat. That's going to be your bug loss, your columbine, and your mountain flower. This will also be in the comments below. That way, if you guys need to come back and reference it, it'll be right there for you in the pinned comment. These ingredients, tristat potion, usage, PvP, 100%. It's actually what I have slotted right here. This is an altered version of it that you get with crown gems and through crown crates and logging in, etc., etc., etc. And then we are going to be talking about weapon power. So what this is going to be is basically it is the green AP pot, stamina, damage, endurance, yada, 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 all the juicy stuff that you're going to want. That is blessed thistle, dragon thorn, and worm wood. And then finally, my personal favorite spell power pots, which are cornflower, Nermera's rot, and lady smock. All of which you will be able to find in this area here inside of the hollow city and you're going to then be able to sell these for gold now if you were to do this for a full hour uh, there is the potential to make a lot of gold why is that that's because you're basically grinding out three separate pots of potions um, and some of those potions might not really be listed on your markets which means that you kind of get what you want for it because you're getting three different types for example somebody may flood tristat but then you can just swoop on in there and start selling spell power potions so if you were to kind of gauge this as a gold per hour uh, i've actually done the math on this in a previous video because i have talked about this location before i would say it's between 30 and 80 thousand per hour it will depend strictly a lot too like as you can see there's people ripping and rolling around 
Uh, but as you can see, I'm not using any movement speed stuff. I'm not doing anything crazy. Now, there is a champion point tree line here that I wanted to touch on briefly. Right, this character also doesn't have slotted. I don't believe at least. So you're also you're going to want to have plentiful harvest on. That will make things go faster. And master gatherer. I don't have those slotted because this is my PvE build setup. But that will be something that you're going to want to kind of get to because you'll get even more than I was. Because when I had originally done and calculated this video, those weren't there. So it might be even higher than 30,000. 30,000 is just a good number though because if you were to sell these potions at market value with other people and you wanted to try to get a return on your gold quickly... 30,000 is probably pretty realistic as what you could expect without, you know, getting your hopes up or anything like that. So that's kind of what I would say, you know, around 30,000, but all the way up to 80,000 because there's a good chance that, especially if you play on PC, because PC has a lot of those end game players. And I'll talk about this in my Market Watch video, which, by the way, whoo! That Market Watch for this next upcoming month is going to be crazy because the. We got a whole new DLC, a brand new event that's never come out before, new sets, new zones, new everything, new players coming back to the game. It is, oh, it is making my brain juices flow, <laughs> trying to imagine all the different things that'll be happening. Uh, so keep a watch out for that. I will say, though, in the meantime, because you watched this video, just a reminder, because I like to give you guys little bits of tips in the meantime, if you're going to be selling your alchemy books, your enchanting books, any sort of master writ books, make sure you are selling them for higher than normal. There are endgame players stocking up on them right now, as the Zenthar event will require, if you want to get those extra reward boxes that you complete a master writ, so those cheap purple ones that you probably have, or those gold enchanting ones, they are going for significantly higher than normal. So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you're selling those things because this is going to be a big market change. And I'll probably post that video either Thursday or Saturday because Friday will be the golden vendor video. I'm also going to do a video on the top 10 potions to sell, uh, which is going to be different than this because this is... These three potions, very popular, very useful, but they're not really unique. They, I mean, we just had our Dragon Slayer video yesterday. We just learned about the crazy potions where you can go invisible, get your ultimate back crazily. You know, we're going to be talking about the unique potions, the top 10 potions video, which is going to be, it's going to have some juicy stuff on there. So stick a tunes for that. And uh, we'll get into that here probably in the next couple days. But again, suggestions, comments, ideas for future content, always feel free to drop it in the comments below. I'm going to keep the same question of the day as I did yesterday. What are some changes or things that you'd like me to make for my videos? Uh, just so you guys know, I have obviously different types of videos when I make things like the lore videos, very scripted. Same with the market watch videos, very scripted. This is things that I just come, I, I come home from work, I record these videos, I talk about things. Uh, here I actually have notes because obviously I'm talking about the specific potions and things. Actually, you can see that person is picking up and that person's also picking up things. Uh, I have the obviously the potions on a script and kind of points I want to hit upon, but nothing too, too crazy. Uh, so there's different types of videos and things that I do. So, you know, just leave feedback, things that you want, the things that you think I should try. You know, even if you had thoughts on like uh, giveaways, if you had thoughts on if I should try to do YouTube memberships or if I should try to do like face cam or I don't know more cuts less cuts more video footage over less video footage less gameplay more cinematics whatever your guys' thoughts and opinions are please put them in the comments below but as you can see as I'm running out of uh, alchemy ingredients because I don't want to take this from other people who are here farming that's going to wrap up today's video and I'll catch you guys tomorrow you want to say anything to the people Evie before we go she's playing with my foot right now you better remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.